Well, hi there. This is Lord Vader. Lord Vader is a black pine snake, which is one of my favorite snakes. I mean, how could it not be? This is a member of the genus Pituophis, and it's jet black. What's not to like? Well, uh, I guess in the case of this snake, how about the fact that it would bite you incessantly? It was his tendency to bite profusely that led his owners to surrender him to us. These weren't poor keepers. They were doing a great job with him, but they weren't enjoying him because they didn't like being repeatedly bitten. Weird. Well, as it turns out, I don't much care for being bitten by snakes either. I even made a whole video about how to read snakes so that I can avoid bites. I've been bitten by more people than snakes. But is there anything that you can do to train a snake not to bite? Wouldn't it be funny if I just said no and rolled the credits? Well, as it turns out, there is something you can do. And when I showed Lord Vader's former owners what I was doing, and they saw how quickly his behavior changed, they said, that's the opposite of what we've been doing. And that made sense, because if you aren't familiar with animal training or human psychology, then it's really counterintuitive. I see this all the time with children. The kid sees something they want. They freak out. The kid is screaming and crying, maybe flailing on the ground. What do you do? Well, you have a couple of options. You can give them what they want, or you cannot. If you give them what they want, they will stop their freak out and be super happy within a few seconds. If you don't, who knows when the spectacle will end. But the next time that they want something, what are they gonna do? I mean, what would you do? If freaking out gets you whatever you want, then it's a fair bet that you will try it again next time. If freaking out means that you will never get what you want, then you might try it a few more times just to be sure it doesn't work. But at some point, you're probably going to try a different strategy. Well, Lord Vader is a pit. And pits, like gopher, bull, and pine snakes, are talkers. These aren't snakes that can do any lasting damage to something the size of a human, but they can talk enough to make you wonder if they can. They rattle and hiss hence the name Lord Vader. And as a last resort, they bite. In the case of Lord Vader, they bite profusely. And whenever he would do all of this, his owners would put him away. The hissing, rattling, and biting would quickly end. No more bites, no more spectacle, and Lord Vader got just what he wanted. What does he not want? Well, he does not want to be poked in the face, grabbed, and manhandled. In fact, if you want to make a calm snake mad, you might want to start fiddling with its face. But the reality is that we need to desensitize all of our educational outreach snakes to having their heads messed with. It's part of a technique that Kevin McCurley from Nerd refers to as nothing is sacred. We want this snake accustomed to having his head bumped or grabbed from time to time so that he can learn that even when this happens, we still aren't going to hurt him. And so that when it happens, as it will when you're an educational outreach animal, you won't respond by biting. So at some point, I need to mess with his head. And this is a great way to make a snake mad. So when do I do this to him? exclusively when he is already mad. Which seems like a recipe for disaster, but it isn't. As soon as he starts showing signs of being defensive, tail rattling, or especially hissing, I bump his nose into my shirt, because I don't like being bitten. And then while he's still responding to that surprise, I gently grasp his head and fiddle with his face. And he calms down immediately. Now this didn't work the first time. Putting him away works the first time, but it trains him to bite when he wants to go away. By constantly responding to his defensive behavior by giving him something that he does not want, he quickly learns not to behave defensively. Within just a few weeks of working with him like this, he no longer displayed any signs of defensiveness. It's amazing. And it works the same way with your kids. Give it a try. 
Give them what they want when they are behaving in a way that you want for them to behave. And do not give them what they want for throwing a fit. You're gonna see some longer, more intense fits than you have ever seen before, but in time, they will disappear and not come back. Unless you cave eventually, then they will just learn to freak out longer. If you found this video helpful and would like to encourage us to make more videos like it in the future, please consider supporting us on Patreon. And as always, like and subscribe, and we hope to see you real soon.